Hello, this is Yukiko. So it's courage scam. So there, uh, yeah, there are many people talking about uh, courage is useful or uh, useless nowadays. And uh, what do I think about? I think if you if you can afford, I think, uh, and if you are okay here, if you worry if you should go or not, the budget might be tight or uh, but still, if you can afford, you should go and uh, of course you can read all those stuff what they are talking about and and i bet everyone knows that uh like say for instance uh super duper famous people who don't have college degree and in for instance art school or music school um like what you call useless college degree and you see the uh the famous painter vincent van gogh i don't think he he graduated from uh art school but then he was he uh was he tried to be a pastor but couldn't in that case he may he may have been to seminary school or something and uh yeah what i want to say is that like uh bloggers or youtubers who talks talk about oh courage is waste your time waste money time energy and that can be true in some some cases but what if those bloggers and youtubers who have lots of lots of money are they are they sending their children children to college i i think so and yeah i'm saying that because i am after all an asian parent <laughs> so and yeah i understand the there are useful college degree and also useless college degree like many people already watched like bright side side youtube videos uh, the worst 10 useless college degree and number one is this in the other uh, no particular order like english major art and design major in psychology or uh, archaeology like digging up the but uh or like a pyramid in egypt or something and yeah but uh see i, I never studied psych psychology but i would think there are many jobs the the psychology majors can work for instance school uh like uh, at uh, special need uh, education or school di district so yeah uh, the, my previous video in uh, I spoke Japanese and uh, yeah like in Japan also there are growing uh, discussion about its courage still necessary or what and uh, yeah like for instance i used to take college classes at local community college when i lived in uh, oxnard california that is a uh, ventura county california i wanted to study art and design and become a uh, uh, graphic designer but unless unless art student become a college instructor or university professor 
you don't really need a uh, like master degree the highest master uh, highest degree for studio art is mfa master of fine art that i believe it's three years takes th three years but uh in venture college majority of instructors are part-timers and yeah i was in oxnard i lived in ventura county between year 2003 to year 2005 and yeah i took classes in ventura college but the uh, instructors facing uh laying off and then uh, yeah like all those instructors who have fancy degree mfa master of fine art and uh, uh, lots of successful art ex exhibition experience in facing the job loss and yeah most art instructors have second job and third job like teaching at Ventura College and teaching at another school like uh, North, uh, Cal Northridge or something and then yeah they are busy and tired yeah looks tired so yeah that instant about the uh, laying off instructor college instructors yeah a little bit uh turn turn off for me and uh and now I, yeah, after that, I had my, uh, I had my, my only child. So ever since then, uh, I became stay home mom. And then and when, when my son became how, seven or eight years old, I, I became, uh, I, I started, uh, having part-time job again so yeah the oh the is college necessary and people who ever uh worrying about go if they should go to college or not and yeah i understand the college can be expensive but yeah i don't understand why people don't want to do two and two program two years in community college and transfer to four-year universities that has uh affiliate with the community college if it is in the uh, same same state the they transfer no problem if it is out of state or from international uh from foreign country there are some college credit doesn't transfer but if it is in the same same state or same county or whatever then it will uh, transfer and then uh, they can go to they can take classes from their parents house and i understand that in the united states living with parents is kind of looked down upon and like i don't like the culture i am from japan and i am from yokohama japan and i i lived with my parents up until i am 28 and which is which is normal and yeah like and also i have been watching yeah I used to have a TV Japan. I used to subscribe TV Japan on my TV. It's a cable or dish network. I, I forgot. And then I I often watch the like educational TV and then the, how the Japanese children struggle in 
in uh, uh, secondary education in the U.S. or college education, and then the facilitator said, uh, student who go to community college first are less likely drop out later on. And yeah, I, I forgot the name of the uh, TV show and name of the uh, facilitator, but uh, I guess someone who who listened to my video, uh, they might they might know what I'm talking about. And I agree with that because the freshmen sophomore they they have to take classes that that has nothing to do with their dreamed major. Like everybody have to take uh, English, math, la uh, lab, science, and uh, this and that. And yeah, one time I did, I took art history class in four year universities. And that, the, so sophomore means 200 level. And that was very much more difficult than 200 classes in community college, what they do and what textbook they are using. And I guess I know why community college is uh, underestimated and sometimes laughed at. The, like me, I don't want to sp spend stressful hours to study things, things I don't need later in my life has nothing to do with my major. So yeah, I am a big fan of community college and city college and they are more practical. And then here are the, my Japanese video. So like uh, nowadays, the marriage is obsolete, so not so many people are getting married, like MGTOW, philosophy, and red pill knowledge and stuff. The men no longer want married marriage. And of course, some women don't want marriage either. But if people who are still want to get married, uh, men or women, I mean, uh, I, I, I guess, sexual orient orientation doesn't matter, but the people require their partner to have some sort of education. And you see this unrealistic, uh, see the, in Japan, also oh, this is American standard, which is crazy. And Japanese standard is four year college and uh, or the height, the men's height is 170 centimeter or 175 centimeter. I, is that five feet, sorry, uh, five feet seven or something. And then, uh, so you can Google this one. And then and some people are like this, this one right there, uh, sapiosexual. I, so, Basically, like someone who prefer smart people. And preference is supposed to be philia, so they should call sapiophilia. But the dictionary said this one, so. Yeah, like even uh, arrangement marriage industry in Japan, both men and women require some sort of higher education so yeah if you are uh, uh, if you are teetering between yes or no or no or yes to go to college or not if then just go and yeah that's my opinion thank you